All right, constructors. A constructor is a special method found within a class. It has the same name as the class name. In the last video, we created a human class, but it's missing a constructor. If we do not explicitly create a constructor, there is a hidden one behind the scenes that is automatically called, and it is used to create an object for us. So let's explicitly create a constructor. So you type public, because we want this to be publicly accessible, and then it has the same name as the class name. Then add a set of parentheses, then a set of curly braces. This works just like a method, and we can even set up parameters. So let's set up name and age parameters. So we need to list the data type, string, name, and int age. Now, in order to create a human object, we have to pass a matching set of arguments. We need to pass in a name and an age. Well, a string to function as a name and an integer to function as an age. So we don't manually need to assign these fields anymore. We can just pass these values as arguments. So with human one, human one's name was Rick and his age was 65. So I will pass these as arguments, Rick and 65. And you can see that that red underline went away. So let's do the same thing for human two, Morty and his age is 16. And we no longer need to manually assign those fields. However, within the constructor, we'll need to do so. So type this dot, the name of the field we would like to assign equals the name of the parameter. And in this case, they have the same name. This dot name equals name. And this dot age equals whatever this is, age. And this will work the same as before, but we did not need to manually assign those values to those fields. So after calling the eat and sleep method for both human one and human two, this will display Rick is eating, Rick is sleeping, Morty is eating, Morty is sleeping. So that's kind of what a constructor is. It's a special method found within a class, and it's automatically called when we instantiate an object if we do not explicitly create a constructor. But if we do, we can manually assign some values to fields of an object. Let's try a different example this time. Instead of humans, let's create a car class. We will instantiate some car objects. So let's delete our current class and create a new one. Class, car then curly braces. Cars will have, let's say, four fields, a make, a model, a year, and a color. String make, string model, int year, and string color. Then to create a constructor, this will have the same name as the class name. Precede this with public, car, parentheses, curly braces. And again, this is a special kind of method and we can set up arguments and parameters. So we have string make, string model, int year, and string color. And then when we receive arguments, we can assign them to these fields. This dot make equals make this dot model equals model this dot year equals year and this dot color equals color then let's create maybe a drive method public void drive and we will display something you drive the plus make plus a lot of space to separate make and model plus model okay now let's instantiate some car objects so we type the name of the class car then we need a unique name or identifier for this car let's call this first car car one equals new car parentheses semicolon but to instantiate a car object we have to pass a matching set of arguments to these parameters we have to pass a make model year and color so car one, let's say, is a Ford Mustang. Ford Mustang, the year will be 2022, and the color is red. And then let's have car one use the drive method. So type car one dot drive, then a set of parentheses to invoke it. You drive the Ford Mustang. Now let's create car two. It's the same process as before but we need a unique name or identifier. Car, car two equals new car. This will be a Chevy Corvette. 
and the year will be 2021 and the color is blue. And then let's use the drive method of car2. car2.drive. You drive the Ford Mustang, you drive the Chevy Corvette. So yeah, that's a constructor. It's a special method found within a class and it has the same name as the class name, class car, and the constructor name is car as well. And it can be used to assign arguments to fields when creating an object. There's a few other things you can do with constructors too, but we'll discuss that in future videos. So yeah, those are constructors. If you can, smash that like button, leave a random comment down below, and well, yeah, those are constructors in C-sharp.